When you open additional drivers, you will see a list of available graphics drivers to install. Then select the top NVIDIA driver. Let's reboot the computer. Now let's make sure the graphics driver is installed properly. My graphic card is a GeForce GTX 1060. I'll write down the URLs in the text below. My compute capability is 6, so I have to install CUDA 8 or 9. It would have been annoying if I had 7.5 installed. I'll write down the URLs in the text below. Click on the environment and download the run file. I'll write the commands again in the text below. Press Ctrl Alt F1 to enter console mode. Enter console mode. You have to go into the download folder and turn off X server to install the CUDA. Run the executable you created earlier. Since the graphic driver was installed at the beginning of this video, you can type yes except this one.
Once the installation is complete, turn on X server. I'll write it down again in the text below. I'm going to make sure that CUDA is installed properly. I will go into the build directory and run an example. The CUDNN is a library, which you can just download and move to the CUDA library folder. the CUDNN for your version of CUDA and get it. We had 8 versions installed. Go to the folder where you unzipped it and type the following command. It's over now. Let's see if it's moved well.